Hello everybody, I hope you're having a wonderful day and today I have something quite refreshing to share with you guys. I got a package from Amazon and I say refreshing in the financial sense. Uh, I'm sure if you guys are typical watchers of the channel, you guys know I've been doing some, uh, some quite schmancy spending on uh, a lot of stuff lately. And I want to start moving back into checking out more affordable things, right? So why not? It's uh, I'm just I'm excited. I'm very excited for this one. It's a bug out right here. I carry this thing a lot. It's so easy to shit all over Benchmade because of the way the company unfortunately conducts itself with pricing and quality control and things like that. But um, that knife is hardly anywhere near what it, what it used to be. So. That's why I enjoy it so much. Here, we got a scent cut. Got a little pouch, got some candy, a little cardboard box. And this is a design collaboration with Ferrum Forge. This is a typical We Civivi and scent cut uh, packaging. You get a sticker and oh, cool. This is the Bronte, I think, I can't remember. I haven't seen the sticker before. It's nice and slim, so I should be able to find a spot for it. Yep, I already found a spot for it. It's gonna go on my little sticker table. It's typically where I mix my drinks and stuff like that. All right, let's get into this thing. So this guy is small, quite small, but I'm very excited for it because Fair and Forge collaboration, I do definitely enjoy the very simple aesthetic that uh, Fair and Forge typically does. So in this variation is the, I guess, all bead blast with some jade. I didn't notice that there was actually a uh, half length backspacer. That's cool. I like that. You don't actually see any kind of backspacers on budget knives, especially in this price point. This guy was right around, uh, I want to say just a hair under 45 bucks. I don't have the specs pulled up at the moment, but let's just go ahead and get this thing out. Oh, that's nice. That is very nice and snappy. Relatively thin little liner lock. Um, this is the typical ferrum forge little flipper tab here. It's only two little jimps there, so nothing crazy. I wish there was a couple more, honestly, but it's good enough. Now it is very smooth right out of the box. That liner does feel quite thin to engage, but this isn't a hard use knife, right? Blade stock thickness on this is definitely a lot thinner than the average EDC knife and the blade shape here. I mean, this thing is gonna be wonderful for a lot of just day-to-day -day tasks. I do like this little jimping here on the spine. It's more decorative than anything, but it feels nice and high quality. The blade material that they're using here is 9CR18 MOV. Um, it's nothing fancy, it's nowhere near a super steel or anything crazy, but it should perform just fine for, you know, something in this price range, right? So there are a couple of different variations. Uh, I believe there was two types of micarta, another type of G10, and I think a wooden one. Um, it would definitely be pretty cool to see maybe like a plus size version in the Civivi realm, maybe with some Nitro V and uh, just a little bit larger, a little bit thicker overall. I think a lot of people would, would definitely enjoy that. But as this thing sits, it's pretty nice. I like this. I definitely want to check this one out for a little bit. I just, I had other stuff <laughs> in the works. So this is definitely running on some ceramic bearings. And yep, that's a ceramic detent ball. You have full thickness steel liners there so no weight relieving speaking of weight let's get the weight on this guy should be extremely lightweight but it does feel a little it feels dense it's a small knife but it feels dense three ounces not bad that is not bad at all so it's not going to be a you know it's not going to be a pocket anchor or anything like that i have a couple size comparisons of stuff that i pulled out really quick just to give a general size comparison <clears throat> here we got the I was gonna say Demco knives <laughs> the Devo knives pony style baby style however you want to call it this is the Q 
Cubis Blade Works variant PE3. All right, all right. And then you can do Sabenza 31 Small with the Sheep's Footy Blade. And then Benchmade Bug Out. So it's honestly about the same size as a Benchmade Bug Out. So that's pretty cool. Maybe just a tad bit shorter because of that blade shape. But what you get here is a, I would say, a relatively roomy forward finger trail. Actually, let me check out the how much blade difference there. And you know what? You're not really, it's probably like a quarter inch of blade difference that you're actually losing out on. But to have a full finger trail, that's that's pretty sweet. I definitely enjoy that. Is it reversible? Yeah, it is reversible. So that's super cool. So lefties can definitely enjoy that. I have some newspaper here. I can't remember the last time I actually got newspaper, but it was in the mail when I pulled the Amazon package out. So cool. I got a little, I got a little, uh, some newsprint here. I guess we can go do some paper cutting. I, I want to put a small piece of this. I don't need this four foot by four foot piece of paper. Nice thin stuff. Get some of those. Oh yeah. Oh that is beautiful. Absolutely. Oh, that, was good. that is absolutely wonderful. No major fuzz, so it's not snagging a lot. For a factory edge, I expect nothing less from WCVV Sunset. Uh, this is, yeah, so I do definitely like that. Sorry, that's a paper. There's a little crease there. Yeah, that's cool. That's good stuff. I definitely enjoy that. So I'm going to be carrying this thing a lot, playing with it a lot, and in a week or so, come back and give you guys my thoughts on this. I can already tell you, yeah, I think this is going to be for me. Hopefully I don't run into any little issues. Uh, could be snugged up just a tad bit up and down solid good to go any movement in the pivot solid for now all right so cool cool if you guys enjoyed this little unboxing i know i definitely did i'm excited to start carrying this um if you guys have this knife go ahead and let me know if you do what you guys think about it uh any other thoughts of that you guys have <laughs> and with that being said i hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day